What is still and what is moving in the world? Think for a moment about how a physicist might answer that question. And now think about how a wildlife photographer might answer that question. Or a community organizer. What is still and what is moving in the world? This question is just one of what uh, the questions that our partner, um, Lawrence Liang, at the Center for Internet and Society in Bangalore, calls a fundamental question. Uh, a place to start a conversation between people of wildly different academic or professional disciplines. Lawrence and his colleagues are particularly interested in starting these conversations in India because of what they perceive to be um, a need in the university education system. They see it as a very narrow kind of sprint toward a degree that is discouraging students from exploring learning for the sake of learning. Our partner imagines a space called EduKitchen where learners come together not in the hopes of increasing their vocational opportunities, but to enjoy a rich dialogue with friends and strangers, a place where a student is a teacher and a teacher is a student. You'll notice that I haven't said anything yet about technology. These kinds of conversations could be taking place in someone's living room, but technology is a key part of this project because our partner imagines these conversations, these, this exchange of ideas to be happening online. So this is a grand vision, and as our team has worked on it um, this semester, we've been dealing with some fundamental questions of our own. And I'll deal with these kind of in reverse order of importance. One of the questions is, how will we build this? Our team is interdisciplinary in our approach. We're from the schools of information, education, and social work, but we don't have deep technical skills. So we've been working with open source existing tools like Moodle and WordPress. Going deeper, we've tried to conceptualize how to design a way through the system that supports both um, the traditional structure of a course as well as non-linear kind of serendipitous exploration of ideas. And finally, we've been fascinated to think about the difference between just building a website and really building a community of learning. What will it take to attract quality content to deal with questions of copyright and openness? And fundamentally, what will motivate potential users to want to join this particular conversation? As we move our work to India, we hope to speak with potential users to validate our assumptions and to generate new ideas for design.